Hello everybody, welcome. It's Donna from North Star Tarot. I am doing a VR to Robin at Toadstool Tarot. Um, it's a, a hashtag, tarot, what are we doing? I found that very, very interesting. I've been watching um, a lot of things that have been happening in the tarot tube community. I'm not a big part of the community. Um, I've only been on YouTube for just over a year and yeah, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not a big part of the community. I do readings online, live. Um, I do videos. Um, I do all kinds of stuff like that. I do readings at home. Um, I'm very much active with reading. Okay. I've been reading for a very long time. Um, since I was a teenager and I'm 63 and you know um, anyway I thought his questions were very good and I thought I would answer them and um, hopefully you guys um, some of you can relate and um, maybe some of you you know um, may have a different viewpoint and I'd love to hear it okay so yeah so um, why do tarot readers want to read well, I'm not sure about other people. All I know for me, um, I think for me at first, it was definitely uh, something I was really, I really just thought it was, it was, it was a mystery. It was so fun. It was um, something new, um, something you could just keep on learning and you could, um, you could find different avenues and you could read and you could just explore and explore and explore. And with that, you got some insight to your life. Okay. You got, um, you got some questions answered or possibly answered. And it was just a lot of fun. It was, um, and then later, you know, much later, I started reading, well, I read for friends and then, um, you know, maybe 10, 12 years ago, I started reading for the public. Um, yeah, I didn't charge before that. I just read for friends and myself and I was happy with that. But then my friends started, you know, encouraging me to do it more. So I thought I would and I did and it was very, very well received. So yeah, I think I help people. And I really do believe that. And I believe that, you know, we have, um, or I have uh, um, something that I can share with them that, um, and it's not like they don't know the answers. It's like, you just have to help them see it. You know, it's like anything else. It's like, um, you know, you can talk to a friend and about a problem you're having and if you guys just keep talking about it and work it out, eventually you come up with an answer. You know, it's the same type of thing. It's just tarot gives you that opportunity to kind of get right into it, you know? And then when you add intuition into it, it really, really expedites the, um, the process, you know, of finding out some things that are going on and maybe what could be done to avoid heartache, avoid hardship, or get through it and know that you have support and you have, you know, I talk about lots of things and not just tarot. And I make sure my clients know tarot are just cards, you know, um, they can be wrong. Um, and it's just energy and that changes drastically um, in a given moment. So you cannot, you know, take what Tarot says and act on that totally. You have to bring logic, you have to bring your intuition, all that into it, okay? But I read for people and I read Tarot because I enjoy it and I think I help people. Um, the next question he posed was, do we wish to help others? Um, yeah, um, we certainly do. So um, I certainly do. I really, really like helping others. Um, do I help myself? Absolutely. But yeah, I truly do believe that I help others. And I think if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't do it, you know? So yeah, um, do we 
wish to be of service. Um, I certainly wish to be of service. I know a lot of people can't afford um, readings. Um, so that's why I do the lives. You know, I do have donation and I do have free readings. And I will keep it that way. And um, so I get to help some people who can't afford it. Um, I also do events around the community. I do um, charity events um, where we raise money for a charity. I think it's great. I think it's a way to give back. And I do believe that um, it is a service that we can offer, just like anything else. It's no different than if you cut hair. You know, it's a service that we're offering, you know? Um, do we want to join and be welcomed into a community, one of fun where others of like-minded support our efforts? Absolutely, I'd love to. Um, I'm a little shy, I haven't reached out, um, but I would love to reach out to people. And I'm just learning about different ways that people um, do tarot. I didn't know people just studied tarot. And I didn't, you know, I was just doing my own thing. I didn't even know there was so much activity on YouTube till two years ago, you know? And yeah, I just had no idea. And this is all so wonderful. And there's a whole community that just loves it as much as I do. And I just think that's wonderful. And, you know, and I, I just think we have to, you know, <laughs> When it, ta when it talks about, you know, welcome to a community, that takes, that takes two, right? It takes, it takes someone reaching out and someone reaching back, right? And it is an effort and you have to make those efforts. I haven't made the efforts yet. I know that, but I will, you know, and I, I'm slowly getting the nerve up to do that, right? Um, I don't have a lot of confidence in the, technology. And I think that's, that's hard for me. Um, I have a lot of confidence in my reading, but the technology is very, very hard for me. Um, so yeah, so it's taken me a long time. There's a huge learning curve. It's taken me a long time to get to where I am, but I am getting there. And um, yes, I am very interested in getting more to join and be more welcomed. And, you know, the, the last month or so with some of the stuff that's been happening in the community, and I know you're all aware of it, um, you know, that was a little disturbing and it, it kind of held me back a little bit, you know. I don't, I don't want to be judged and um, I don't want to, um, everybody has a right in my opinion, this is just my opinion only, I believe everyone has a right to conduct their business the way that they want to conduct their business. You know, um, you know, I, I, I think we have a responsibility, but no more than anybody else that has a business. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we're not special. We are people, um, you know, and we have a responsibility to ourselves and others um, to a certain point, right? Um, but we still are allowed to be an entrepreneur and we're allowed to do those kinds of things, right? So the number five question I got, I just wrote down the questions. I know Robin, you were saying some things and you were making some statements. I didn't write that stuff down, okay? So number five, do we wish to make money, achieve financial gains, uh, turn a learned skill for profit? Well, I do. Uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. You know, um, of course, I have a skill and yes, I want to make money. Um, absolutely, and I do. Um, I make money on YouTube. I make money at events. I make money reading for my friends. I make money reading for strangers who call me and set up appointments. Um, yeah, um, I do that. And I teach tarot and I teach de developing your intuition. 
and I make money on those courses. Um, I just wrote a book that should be out by the end of the month. Hopefully I make money there. Um, you know, yes, absolutely. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Who doesn't develop their skills, you know, and not want to make money from it if that's what you love doing? And who gets a chance to do what they love and be able to make some money from it? Not saying that everybody's going to make a living, but, you know, even if it's just a little bit extra, a little addition, you know, can help, right? And do we want to show we have a skill that others don't? No, I don't. I, you know, that means nothing to me. Um, there's lots of people that have skills that I don't, you know, and they don't rub it in my face. Why would I do that to them? You know, um, yeah, everybody's individual. Everybody has skills and everybody has developed their skills, whichever they are. You know, maybe someone's a carpenter and they're just fabulous, you know, and they've developed and worked hard and honed their skills. You know, I admire that, you know, and I've honed my skills and I'm happy with that. So, you know, but I don't need anybody else to acknowledge that, that's for me, you know? Um, and I keep learning and I keep developing and I keep honing my skills, you know? That's that's what it's all about. You know, every day get a little bit better, every day learn something new. I'm not too old to learn, right? I'm still learning. So, number seven, do we wish for affirmation or validation? Um, you know, sometimes being, you know, I can get a little insecure doing something different. And um, it's nice to hear um, that you did a good job or, you know, it helped them. They feel more comfortable. Um, they have more confidence. Uh, they feel better, you know, going through with the decision they made. Whatever it may be, right? Um um, yeah, sometimes it feels good to have that validation. Is that just insecurity talking? Maybe, uh, quite possibly. But um, yeah, to be perfectly honest, sometimes that validation feels good. Do I need it? No. But um, yeah, sometimes I wish for it. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm human. Everybody likes a pat on the back or a thank you or whatever it is, right? But yeah, um, uh, yeah, I do, yeah, for sure. So eight, do we wish to test our abilities? Depends on what you mean by that question or that word test. Um, I would say I like to um, grow my craft. I like to see where my craft can lead me um, maybe a different situation will come up that I haven't dealt with before, which doesn't happen often, but it could. And, um, I like that, you know, and see what I've learned and see what I can do different, you know, or you get a deck and it's totally different and it's, you know, it's challenging. I like that, you know, so I don't know if that's testing your abilities or if that is just again, honing your abilities, you know, uh, what is it? Is, is it like, um, yeah, it could be, it could be, I guess you could say it either way, right? But I look at it more of, you know, um, challenging yourself and pushing yourself to learn more and growing, you know, that's how I look at it. So number nine, <laughs> uh, here, we just keep on going here. Do we practice to improve our intuition and do we make that clear to others that hang on to our advice? Okay, so yes, definitely we practice, I practice to improve my intuition. I definitely do that. Um, do I make that clear to others? Yeah, absolutely. I always tell people often, often, you can watch any of my lives and somewhere in the live, I say, you got to remember, guys, this is just tarot. It's just cards. 
you know? I always say that, and there's a disclaimer, and this is just entertainment, and you do have to remind them, you know? And if you see somebody coming back over and over and over again, which they do, you know, you really, I'm, I'm more, hmm, I don't, I don't pretty it up for them. I don't, I don't say what they want me to say so they keep coming back, you know? Um, I tell them what I see in the cards and I tell them that it could change tomorrow. And I think that's part of what I, what I believe I should do, you know? That it's all energy and it can change on a dime, you know? And yeah, so I think that's how I work it. And to me, that makes me feel good. And I, I do think I make it clear. And I do practice my intuition, you know? And I practice my psychic abilities, you know? So it's just all, it's all a big part of my spiritual practice. And I talk about a spiritual practice online as well when I'm doing lives or whatever. I do talk about a spiritual practice and how important I feel it is, and how much routine is important, and all these things, you know? Um, yeah, I don't say tarot is gospel, because I don't believe that, you know? I think it's a tool, you know? And I think it's a wonderful tool, but it is just a tool, okay? So, number 10. Do we take our skills for granted? Um, maybe. Quite possibly sometimes. Um, but then when you do, every once in a while, you'll get somebody that comes by and they'll be the doubter or they'll be the one to, you know, really make it hard for you to read them. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an awakening, you know. It doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while, right? And I think that, you know, it happened. So when that happens to me, it's like, Oh, yeah, Donna, don't get too big for your britches, you know. You still have a lot to learn. So, yeah, so I do think that that's, you know, that sometimes that happens for that reason, right? It just keeps me, um, keeps me honest, right? Keeps me, keeps me uh, wholesome, keeps me, you know, um, humble, you know. I think that's really important because sometimes, yeah, sometimes uh, you get on a roll and things are just going so well, right? That uh, sometimes you, yeah, sometimes you um, you can take you can take it for granted sometimes, right? Or you think you know you read something in the cards and yeah, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, and it doesn't. And then you remember they're 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 fallible, they're failable, you know? They're not they're not they're not perfect, you know? It's not a perfect system. So yeah. Okay, so number eleven, are we? overly or underly confident about our perceived abilities. Um, I guess I kind of answered that in the other one as well. But yes, definitely you can get overconfident and underconfident. You know, there's times where I'm nervous, you know. I'm doing a tarot party and I'm going to somewhere that I, I've, I've never met any of the people and it's a big crowd and or it's an important... Um, a charity that we're working for and sometimes I'll get nervous and um, I don't know why but I do so you know um, but after I get there and I get rolling and I'm okay right but sometimes that initial thing I get a little bit nervous right and sometimes you get that um, oh, you know um, imposter syndrome you know like, I think that's a real thing. Like, for, for me, it is, you know? And sometimes I think, who the hell do I think I am, you know? So, yeah, so I, I got to remember to keep grounded, right? And I try to ground myself lots. And, you know, and I try to start my days off well. But, you know, I'm not perfect either. So, that doesn't always work for me. But, yeah, I try, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's, you know, it's important, right? And all we can do is be the best we can be each day, right? You know, and make the next best decision. That's all we can do. So, yeah. So, number 12, do we pursue tarot for ourselves or others? Well, for me, I definitely, I definitely pursue tarot for myself. You know, um, if I didn't 
you know, if I didn't believe what I did, if I didn't love what I, what I do, if I didn't think I was helping people, I wouldn't pursue it. You know, um, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't think I could make any money at it, I wouldn't pursue it. You know, um, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a skill like any other skill. And, um, I love it and I'm lucky I love it and I'm grateful I love it. And, um, yeah. And I guess you can look at that as pursuing it for others as well. But for me, that's just more about service. Um, yeah, I pursue it for myself. Okay, 13. Are we trying to prove something? I'm sure there's been times that I have and tried to prove something. I know the first time that I read for my friends here, because, you know, terror was taboo, right? When I grew up. And I was born, uh, raised Catholic, so it was all taboo, right? But anyway, um, long story short, um, I mentioned to a friend, she was having a party that I could, and her tarot reader didn't show up or couldn't show up. And so I said I could do it. And she didn't know I read. And she said to me, no, you can't. And I said, oh, yes, I can. And I went to the car because I kept my cards in the car. I didn't even carry them in my purse. And I got my cards and I read for her. And um, she said, holy shit, you can. <laughs> so that's how I started, you know, here in the new city that I was in. And um, it, was, it, was, it was quite the thing. And yeah, I, I felt I had to prove myself for a while, right? But... I've got nothing to prove now. I'm too old for that. And I'm not trying to be anybody I'm not. I just want to be authentic. I want to share what I know. I want others to share with me. And I just want to enjoy doing what I love doing, you know? And if I can help one person, I'm happy. You know what I mean? So if I can make a difference in one person's life, I'm happy. And that's what it's all about for me. Okay, so 14, have your motives or what's driving you changed over time? Absolutely. You know, mm, I don't know that I really had any motives before, um, except when I was first reading, um, not when I first came out of the closet per se, but when I, you know, shortly after that, I was trying to prove myself, right? So my motive was, you know, I have to be so accurate. I have to be perfect. Can't make a mistake, you know? You have to go, go, go. Don't get tired, you know? Um, um, change decks enough. Make sure you do this right. Make sure you do that right. All this kind of stuff, right? And it was all like, it just drove me crazy, right? But over time, that has all changed for me. And my motives are different. My motives are for me. You know, I do tarot for me. I love it. And I want to enjoy it. You know, I love watching other people. Um, I watch YouTube a lot. I watch many of you. You know, when you're doing, you know, uh, card flips, when you're, when you're doing, um, you know, you're going through the deck and you're talking about it and, you know, you're giving your analysis of it. I love that. You know, when I go to the other ones and I watch them read for people, I love that as well. So I just, I just, I'm just still enthralled with tarot. So yeah, it's a big part of who I am and I love it, you know, and I am a self-proclaimed solitary witch and I love that. Um, you know, my kids are, are great. Um, took them a while, but they are great. My grandkids are great with it. And it's all fantastic, you know? I just feel like over time, I have realized that, you know, you can't prove anything to anybody. You can't be anything to anybody. You have to be authentic. You have to be you. And the more you're you, the better off you're going to be and the happier you're going to be, right? 
and the less disappointment, the less stress, the less anxiety, all of that. So yeah. Okay, so number 15, I think this is the last one I have, okay? So do we have more enthusiastic readers out there than those wanting to be read for? Well, not, not in my experience, okay? My experience, there is a lot of people that are looking for readings um, constantly. Um, I don't see that waning. Um, it, you know, um, sometimes I wonder, you know, because of the, the mild recession we're in in Canada, and I know many parts of the world, that, you know, um, that that would affect how many, how many people get readings, right? And I think sometimes it does, but generally speaking, no, it doesn't really affect it very much at all. I'm as busy as I want to be. And you know, that's a good thing, right? And um, it's a very good thing. And I, and I think it's great, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm as busy as I wanna be. And you know, and I see the people on YouTube that, you know, that watch, you know, especially the horoscopes and, you know, um, the zodiac signs and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's thousands of, you know, um, people that watch these readers, you know. Um, I'm just a little channel. I've got 1,100 people, you know, which is fantastic. I'm very, very proud of that and I'm very happy. But yeah, uh, you know, like, there are some people that have so many people watching them all the time. It's just fantastic. You know, um, I think most of us, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to speak for anybody else, but my opinion is that most of us are very, um, we have integrity. We love what we do. We love the tarot. And I think we just want to share share our abilities and share what we know, share our knowledge, share our hope and share our love with people. That's what I truly believe. And yeah, so I think there's a lot of people that um, want to be served and, um, and I want to serve them. So anyway, um, thanks for listening to me ramble. And um, yeah, whatever was happening this last month in the TerraTube community, I hope it gets resolved. And um, I can't really say too much because I don't know anyone. And I just, I just think it was sad, you know, the whole thing. And it's totally unnecessary, right? So let's just be together and let's just support each other and, you know, and build each other up. And I think if we can remember to do that, we all have faults, right? And we just have to keep building each other up. And I think that's what's important. So anyway, everybody have a great, great evening. Uh, bright blessings and take care. And we will see you again soon. Bye for now.